They have shared the Senate. They have shared Deputy President. They have shared the President. That's what I've been saying. And then I'm being told that I'm dividing the country along ethnic lines. I did not append this signature. I'm just being truthful. That is my crime. People want these things to be hidden so that they pretend it to be nationalistic and say regarding Ashagwa is tribal. But the people who are paid these signatures are the ones who should explain why they were signing things for their regions only. Yet they say they are national leaders. Power sharing agreement between the Kenya Kwanza coalition on one part uh, and the Communist Party. Nini, nini, nini. So, <laughs> service party, at least I saw Chama Chakazi. They say the party leader should get something. Moses Bulia was given something. <laughs> the service party of Mwangi Kujuri got nothing. You know? So, Unajua Sasa, Ile Shida Iko Kenya Hini Ukora. And people not being truthful. The agreements are here. Like in a communist party, they have been making noise. They signed an agreement, they have not seen anybody. Yeah? So, Uh, my speeches on the shareholder issue are informed by their form, the aforesaid power sharing covenants, which are founded on law and lessons learned from the well known disputed 202 NAC power sharing agreement. Further power sharing agreements are a feature of government formation in all democracies in the world that provide the formation of coalitions. My pronouncements on the issue, properly understood, are not only anchored in law but entirely harmless and incapable of being construed as a basis for ethnic animosity, a danger to national cohesion or a threat to national unity. On the contrary, coalition building has been one of the most important innovations since the disputed 207 elections in ensuring stability, equitable sharing of political power, national cohesion, and fostering of national unity national unity. Indeed, Kenya Kwanzaa's main opponent in the 2022 general election, Asimio Laumoja, one Kenya coalition party, was a political party consisting of 25 or so political parties who also executed a power sharing agreement as required by Schedule 3 of political parties. However, on the studying of the same power sharing agreements, upon election as the deputy president of Kenya, I went out of my way as required by the constitution of Kenya to serve all Kenyans regardless of their political preferences during the election or ethnic origin. I'll produce videos or all those things. Again, my decision to embrace a broad-based government following the decision of the cabinet after the GNC protest is that I support coalition building. And even when the Honorable Wright Odinga came, he got some shares. True or false? I mean, surely, why is Regarding Ashagwa being verified by just being truthful? You know, it's good to be truthful. I have heard that my saying we observe this agreement is a threat to national unity. I have never been caught by the National Cohesion and Integration Committee to tell me that I have said something that can create ethnic disharmony. On the issues of one man, one vote, one shilling, I am told again that it can create tribal hatred. How? The one man, one vote, one shilling is not a formula for Mount Kenya region. Far from it. The one man, one vote, one shilling talks about equity. 